COVID carnage has struck for the second time this year, including the biggest casualty of all, the coach, Adam Simpson. So it's 21 available players, two waffle top-up players and a standing coach. Many would say it is mission impossible. How hot, Derm, is this hot seat this evening? It's probably not the ideal situation he anticipated coming into, but coaches, they're a rare breed. They'll take any opportunity they can get and take it and run with it as best as possible. Yeah, it was a little bit different, but uh, thoroughly enjoyable and um, something I'm proud of. I knew that if Simo went down, I would be coaching the team. But yeah, the Thursday morning phone call about 10 past six. Yeah, it was a bit different, but from that point onwards, Simo handed the reins over and I just knew I had to just, my role was to get the group together and make sure that we're in a good space in regards to the game itself and just having a real crack at the footy game. So yeah, a little bit uncharted, but I had great support from all the staff and, and the coaches and the players. So I felt sort of halfway through the third quarter and we were, you know, sort of four and a half goals down and we thought we, you know, we're, we're a real opportunity here, but Brisbane got the next couple and, um, you know, post that, we, we dropped away. Our standards dropped away. So, yeah, we just got to take that stuff for longer in regards to our standards, our contested footy and then our transition. And, you know, if we can do that, we're going to be in games longer and give ourselves the chance to win. I suppose challenging times at the club's availability give us a fantastic opportunity. Jake Franca got the opportunity to play. He had 38 possessions in the waffle and then was able to come in and play against, you know, a crack Brisbane midfield. And I thought he really jumped in with TK and Reto and they really endeavoured to work together and I thought he, he was very strong in the contest. So he should be proud of what he did. Yeah, no, it was good that he can come in and play for the club. You're in the grind of year to year, I suppose, so you don't really think about the number too much, but to manage 250 games at an elite level is pretty special, so I something to look back on, I think we'll be proud of. The three or four months I've had to deal with, with Red Eye, he's just been a thorough professional and really stood up in the midfield, so to be able to honour a great club servant this week, the total games he's played is enormous for us, and um, I'm sure he'll provide plenty of inspiration. I thought we trained really well today. I think we followed on. We had a really good session, our main session last week, and I thought today's training session was sharp, had an edge to it, and we really went after our standards. We've got to go after that every session, so we just get better and better, and then transferring that to match days is the next part for us. So that's where we're at at the moment. It's reality, and we're just looking forward to getting better and better.